to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 kids at 147 and I'm bringing you another video slightly in the dark. Um, not completely in the dark, but I do want the focus to be on the screen. Um, I want to show you another app. Now I have had this app for a while and I have been meaning to do this video for a while and I was going to do it um, in the fashion way of just videoing your screen. But again, I can't really talk and show you what I'm doing um, without doing it this way. Um, so this is a diamond painting app. Now this is available on, now it's available on both iPad and Android. It was only available on Apple initially, um, but they have brought out an Android version. Uh, they have an active Facebook group um, and they, are so responsive it's unreal um, there were a few suggestions that I sort of made back when I first got it to say this would be good this would be good you know because they do want ideas of things that are helpful and I think pretty much every single one of them has been put into play um, so without further ado let's show you which one it is so if you go to the app store and if you just search diamond painting that will be enough to bring up the app which is the diamond painting logbook now i think it's 99p i can't remember if it did cost more on oh no it must be on both because it's an app that works on both so grand sum of 99p and this is the app so this is an empty app um, I do have it as say I originally or I mainly use this on my phone and this is my projects on my phone so to show you my phone screen um, I haven't updated it for a while so this was the last batch of things that I was waiting for um, the round versus square my New York and my water lily that I've already unboxed um, and then it, you can do um, a list of what you've already completed and kept what you've completed and gifted and you can basically keep a record of all sorts you can also keep a record of your colors and what colors you may have spares of so there's two different colors these are whole bags left and part bags left and um, things like that you can have a wish list um, and then you can have all sorts of about so it shows that I've got 928 spare colours or total colours in it, I think maybe. Um, 30 projects, you can choose which size to order them in, all sorts of stuff. Also gives you a link to the Facebook group. So what I thought I'd show you from the spare one is sort of how you add a project in. So I'm gonna add into this one um, my very recent ever moment sorry the screen's a bit dark now because my lights are off but my very recent ever moment because uh, I know I have a picture of that one quite handy so we're going to add a project and you get to choose to add an image so I'm going to choose from albums and there it is so I'm going to choose to add the image which I've just taken all I did was took a screenshot from ever moment now you can add that as your main image you can then add other images on that so if you want to take a picture of you complete in your diamond painting bit by bit you can do that um so what should we call this let's just call it sunset for now oh if i could spell it right so we'll just call it sunset you get to put the width and the height so this one is a 30 by 30 obtained from so I put AliExpress and then I put the dash symbol. Is it going to let me? No. Dash and then ever moment. But that's how I like to do it. It's completely up to you whether you just want to put ever moment, just put AliExpress. You've got the option to put um, a link so you can put a link as to where you got it from so you you can link straight to the store then it gives you the options 
I'm just pulling up the ever moment details of it. So it gets you, you can put the cost. So this item cost me £12.30. Now it doesn't have pounds, dollars, anything. So it's just whatever your currency is, which is great. Um, the cost in shipping and then the discount. So this is one of the features that I actually mentioned. Is this something that could be possible? Because sometimes you get a voucher off um, and I wanted to be able to, um, ex you know, let it know when I had a voucher. So I knew what the full price was and what I'd paid for it. Then you have drill type of which you've got round, square or special. So this one is square. And then the drill type, oh, so square, save, oh, no, I want to go back to edit. So drill type square, um, full drill, full or partial, so you've got the option for either. Sorry, it's my Facebook grow, showing up. And then date started and date finished, so you can do that to note down of course how long it takes you for date ordered so this is something that I can add in so I ordered this on the 2nd of September 2019 and the date this one was received I'm just going to have a look on my tracking can I see my tracking delivery information there we go so I'm going to get my tracking for this one. So this one said it was a successful delivery on the 17th of September. Sounds about right. So 17th of September. Status. So I can mark that one as received, but not yet started. So you've got the options of completed and kept, completed and sold, completed and gifted, started, received but not started, not received or you can choose to put it on your wish list so that one's received but not started sale price is not relevant wasn't on a sale you can rate it and you can add notes to it so you've got all sorts of options so when I hit save now that shows obtained from Aliexpress it cost £12.30 oh I must have set this as British pounds sorry let's have a look does that just do it yourself Maybe that does it itself, because I don't think I chose that. But anyway, I'm not going to reject. It's in my currency, so that works for me. Um, status received has not started. It shows me the date I ordered it and received it, so a total of 15 days. And if I'd have done the project, it also told me how long. If you've sold it, you can put down how much you sold it for, and then you can also give it a rating. So that is a great way just to be able to have a look at what your diamond paintings you may have in your stash. But then what you can also do is add a colour list. So you can add more images, which means you can show, you know, your progress, your working, whatever else. So if I choose more images, choose from albums, um, and then for example, which way round am I going? Um, I could choose to say maybe add my thumbnail in um, that I did for the unboxing. I can choose to add an unboxing picture. Whatever pictures you want, you can select multiple and add them in. Um, or you can choose to add colours. So this is where you can actually start to store what colours these are um, and maybe how many you have left. So if you hit edit, you can either choose from each of the lists and go down all the numbers or you can do what's called a quick add so what you do is you add in the numbers and you have a gap of a comma so 155 it's finally where my comma is on the ipad 155 156 uh, 158 208 now this bit can take a bit of time but some people will be interested in it, some people won't. It's completely up to you whether you want to keep track 
this much. 550, 552, 554, 712, 792 and I'll show you what it does once you've added all these in 894, 899, 922, 950. Why did I put the painting with the most colours in? 956, 995, 3072, 3326. Now as far as I know they are going to be working on something that will allow you to sync it between your iPhone and your iPad. Um, I've seen that mentioned in the Facebook group but anything you know if you do decide to get this app anything you're unsure of or anything that you think would be good believe me it the Facebook group will help. The developer of the app has been very responsive to suggestions so one of the other suggestions I found was when adding in pictures, when adding extra images, it would only let you click on one at a time and you'd add that and then you'd have to click on it again. Um, they've now changed it so that you can add multiple all at once, which is great when you're sort of putting in all your, all your pictures from past ones. Um, so that's all of them added in. So if you hit save and it will tell you all colours been added successfully. So if for any reason you, you picked a colour that wasn't a colour, it would tell you so. So that's it done. So now when you scroll down, uh, what's the first one, 155? We've got a tick next to 155, next to 156, next to 158. So it tells me that they're the colours in this list. Uh, you can click on colours to tell you um, how many you've got left. So, for example, so if we go all the way back and go back into the colour list, this tells me all the colours that this painting has. Okay, so we've got nice little images next to it. Now, when I've finished it, I could go through and go, okay, so I've got one of those left and I've got a partial bag. I've only got a partial bag of that one. I've only got a full bag of that one. You know, I've got three bags of that one, you know, and, and that's what I say I've got left. If you then go into colours, which is all your colours, you can filter by all that you've got left. So that tells me any spares I've got. You can also filter it by only ones that I've got four bags of left. Or you can filter it by those that I've only got partial of. So it'll tell me what colours that I may have in my spares. So clear the filter and it goes back to every DMC colour that's available and highlighted is the ones that you may or may not have. Go back to projects and I'm back on the page I was on. So I'm just gonna make those a zero just because I haven't finished this painting yet. Uh, so make that back to a zero and done. So that is my first project in there. You can add a huge amount of projects. You can add things on your wish list, which you can then move over to be um, a current diamond painting. So for example, I'm just pulling up my phone again. Um, so Let's have a look. So I've got a camera here, 30 by 30, more images. So I've got a few images from YouTube. I also take an image of the inventory sheet as well. So that is the inventory sheet for that painting. Um, I just took like a cam scan type image. Um, that means I don't need to keep it. I don't need to keep my spares because I've got a picture of it here. I've got a picture of it completed and you may decide to take pictures of it bit by bit. I can go on the colour list and 
I classed it as having a partial left of each of these. So what I tend to do is if I had an actual baggie left, then I will put how many of the bags I had left. If, for example, it was like a hua can that only come in bags. So um, I always did it. So for example, if I had one of these types of bags left, Sorry, I'm trying to show it my best, <laughs> considering I'm just looking at screens today. If I had one of these bags left, or two or three, that's what I'd put down as whole bags left. If it was a painting that, for example, and that's probably not the best one to open, but if, for example, like a Hua can, they just came in grip seal bags, I would class those as a partial, um, no matter how many were left. Um, and that was just the way I prefer to do it. So I know that on my spares, if it says I have a full bag, then it is one of the the 200 bags or the 1,000 bags, but it's, it's wrapped up. If it's partial, then it is just um, an amount left. Let me think, what else did I do that may have had more left. Did I do this colour list? No, they were all classed as having partial. See the thing is because I didn't actually do this one, I haven't had this app, there's not been many um, that I've known what colours I've had left. So for example if I go on colours as well if I go on to say 154 it says I've got two whole bags left and six partial bags left if I click on that that actually tells me what paintings they came from so I have a partial bag left of round drill from abstract girl I have a partial bag of square drill from butterfly and also one from butterfly in hands from the camera, I have one partial bag of square drill. From the hummingbird, I have one partial and two full in square drill. And from the painting called Your Name, I have one partial bag left in spare drill. Square drill, sorry, spare drill. Well, the spares, but the squares. Um, so it'll actually tell you of all the colours that you've got, whether you've got round or square. So I can scroll down to any. I've got, so for example, 413, I only have eight partial bags. If I have a look here, one of them is round and the rest are square. Sorry, that's not focusing, is it? There we go. So one is round and seven of them are square. Straight up, you've got a spares list in the palm of your hand. This one, Hummingbird has left me some square drill. The others are square drills as well. So somebody asked if I've got any of those in round. Sorry, I don't. Straight away, without having to come in and look at my spares box, I can have a look. So there, I've got two lots of round and four lots of square. I might not know exactly how many I've got, but who wants to count them anyway? Um, so yeah, this app, I love it. I do need to update it. I have been a, bit, a little bit lax. Um, but it is so pretty when they're all lined up in your projects and you can see how many diamond paintings you may have done, what they look like, you can click on them and see everything else that, you know, any other pictures of it part way through and things like that. You've got loads and loads of options. So. I do recommend the Diamond Painting Logbook. It has got some very good ratings and they do do previews. So they, they show you how you can look at, you know, what you've, what you've started, um, received and not started, not received yet, what you've completed. You've got all your project details of how long it takes and you can see all your images according to the same one. You can see what colours are in that one or even what colours are in them all. So there's loads of different options for you there, but if it's well worth the 99p is all I can say. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.